Walking to the moon. When I was before you when I was born, like my foy and all the Gujarati people know yeah. foy is, yeah. but it's like my dad's sister. Yeah. Uh, put in our file to yeah. come yeah. here. You are uprooting your whole life, coming to a completely different country. I'm sure you had the Indian accent. Yeah. Uh, and no matter how much uh, American pop culture we are fed, it's completely different coming here and like actually interacting yeah. uh, and navigating your way. So coming here, it was like every day is I can wear whatever I want, which for some people it may seem like, oh, that's so yeah. fun, that's so nice. But it wasn't like that for me it because could be, it could be so much pressure. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure because you have to like dress up. Yeah, dress up, especially in Chicago where it snows so yeah. much. I remember back in the days when we first came, it was so like we didn't have that much money to even buy snowshoes. So I never had snowshoes. I would wear like tennis shoes in snow. So it was hard. I oh, it, it honestly frustrates me so much that like people in America or anywhere that yeah. is not India don't know why yeah. and I felt like I had a fever and something you know back then COVID didn't exist so it was definitely a fever yeah. and I looked at her and I was like hey you know I'm gonna pass for breakfast I think I'm gonna go to my dorm and put some wigs on yeah. and go to sleep and she looked at me like she was crazy she's like what on? Well, there are some things which you must have absolutely loved about the American culture when you first came here or, or still do Garba runs in the Gujarati's blood. Right, yeah. Like you come out the womb doing Garba, <laughs> and that's definitely true for yeah. me. A lot of the times when I, when my family sees me doing Garba at you know in Navratri, they think that I'm drunk. I went up to the cook because you call out the order, and I was like, pull one steak, and they'll be like, what kind? And I was like, there's kinds of steaks. And everyone was just looking at me like, what? And they're like, okay, how do you want it cooked? And I was like, uh, I don't know, cook it good, I guess. Like, what do you mean? How to, like, don't cook it bad? He's like, no, there's temperature. So yeah. I went back. And at that point, I thought I was, I like, the person's gonna hate me. Right. If you could uh, take a hot air balloon over any city in the world, where would it be? What is one hidden talent that no one knows about you? Even the podcast people. Don't oh, know. like no one knows about me? No one.